Hey, and welcome back to Do News. I am your host, the King of Do, and it is a beautiful day to be an Ethereum holder. Uh, things got a little crazy today, and uh, we hit some new all-time highs. I saw it uh, personally get as high as 420. Just depends on what exchange you're looking at and things like that. But what a run. What an exciting time to be a part of this crazy movement. Looks like right here, 421, 420-ish right there on the GDAX. So that's really exciting. But enough about the market, because uh, obviously you know what's going on, uh, I assume, already. So I'm not going to dive too deep into it. We will pop over here and take a quick peek um, at what's going on. And uh, as you guys can see, uh, we've got BitShares continuing to hold the top 10 above Stratus. Um, Stratus lost a little momentum today. Maybe a good buying opportunity uh, for Stratus right now. Um, Steam still holding strong after a huge run-up, and uh, remember it wasn't that long ago, it was at like 80 cents or so, but uh, you know, it's holding up there. Golem has had quite a pullback, great buying opportunity, you know it can hit 60 cents, and you know that it's going to correct to follow Ethereum on the way up, especially after the uh, successful ICO of Bancor today, you can probably expect some of these ICOs to pick up some, some ground as well. Um, as people um, enter the space, as new money is coming in, and they're looking for new opportunities. So um, keep an eye out for Golem to hopefully poke its head back up to about 55 cents here. All right, so that's enough about the market. It's not what you guys are here for. I'm going to go ahead and leave this up so we can watch the market while I give you guys some news. Um, I don't have a lot to show you on the screen because a lot of it is coming from a lot of research and reading that I've done. First thing I want to do, though, is I do want to address the mining video that I made. Um, I uh, had a few people give me some good feedback on that. Um, I had some people tell me they got mining for the first time. But what I want to say is that there's nothing uh, easy or new. Uh, I guess it's there's nothing easy about mining. And um, I may have made it maybe too easy. Uh, some of you may not have computers that could even work for mining. Um, and hopefully no one ran out and bought a card and realized your computer can't work. Um, you do need to make sure that your computer can work. Um, you know, there's, there's so many videos on YouTube talking about how to mine. I would highly recommend that you go and read those, okay? Um, everything from building computers and mining and all of that fun stuff, it's all out there for you. Um, I really did that in response to that particular video to help um, some people that are close to me in my life with mining. Um, and I guess I just completely forgot the, 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 the idea that not everyone has a PC that can maybe take a card. Um, hopefully none of you uh, tried to uh, rig up your work computer or something crazy, um, only to find out that that is absolutely not positive, uh, absolutely not something that you can do. Okay, so moving on from that statement. Um, something really, really cool, and here's my dog again crawling over me. Um, something really cool that um, has gone on uh, just today, um, basically there's going to be a new exchange, and that's really exciting. Not an exchange, a fund um, for the Europeans out there. I know a lot of people who watch this channel are European, so this is something you definitely want to pay attention to. Um, it's being offered, um, let's see if I can find it, by the Swiss Financial Market Super Supervisor Authority. I believe that's what it is. Um, so we got a bank in Switzerland essentially offering uh, a fund, which is really exciting, um, that basically helps you diversify and uh, get into cryptocurrencies using your local fiats. And uh, I think that's really, really great. Um, I wish we had that here in America. I would be doing everything I can to get some money in that as well because I, I tell a lot of people that don't have the time to do this to, you know, you just need to diversify um, because this market, it's not a question of when it will be a trillion dollars. Uh, or it's not a question of if. I'm sorry, guys. My dog's really bugging me. It's not a question of if we'll hit a tr trillion. It's just when. Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised at the rate we're going if by a year from Christmas um, that's the case. Um, it seems with the momentum we're having, we could get there. Of course, we may have some major setbacks along the way, um, some scams, some regulations, things of that nature, you just never know. Um, however, what is uh, undoubtedly true is the acceleration that is happening right now 
um, cannot be ignored and uh, you know getting your money in for the long haul um, is going to pay dividends no matter what because this stuff's here to stay this isn't going to go away it doesn't matter how much regulation or taxes or um, centralization that happens in this decentralized world um, of cryptos and blockchain no matter what uh, this is going to continue to happen it is the future um, it is without a doubt um, the future so just you know for new people uh, a lot of people ask me what should I invest in um, my best advice is probably just diversify across maybe the top you know 10 or 20 coins that you believe in um, and then just sit back and relax uh, maybe buy a little something else every once in a while that uh, fancies your interest. But besides that, um, that's the best advice I have for someone that's new that you're not going to trade a lot. Um, you, you're, you know, that's the best advice as I can give you. Um, there's tons of coins out there and a ton of research to be done. Talk to your friends, watch a bunch of videos. Um, we invite you to this community for sure. Everyone watching this channel um, is, you know, a part of this community. Uh, we, we learn together, we talk with each other, and uh, feel free to join us. Um, you know, if you're, if you're just getting in, uh, this is a great, safe place for you to be. Um, and uh, feel free to ask questions. We'll, we'll, we'll do our best to answer them in the comments below. I have some great, great viewers that are following this channel now um, that are doing a great job of helping answer some of these newer questions. Um, I commend them for sure and appreciate them very, very much. Um, so moving on um, beyond that. So yeah, if you're in Europe, make sure you uh, get in on that because um, one, you'll be part of history. Two, um, it's likely to be uh, the fund with the greatest growth um, in the next 10 years, right? So why not make sure you get all your money in there? Um, my dog, again, is crawling all over me. He is so mad when I talk to you guys. He's been getting real jealous lately. Chewbacca. He has got a ball. Um, he just learned to fetch, so he's, he keeps bringing the ball, thinking that I'm going to take it and throw it. Uh, little does he know I'm not going to. And little does he know I'm not really talking to him. So I'm getting them all worked up, and he's knocking the screen around and things like that. But we'll deal with Chewbacca, won't we? All right, moving on. Um... Something really, really cool um, is this thing uh, that just came out um, called Trust Lines Network. And this is fascinating to me because I think it's just so funny um, how it applies to my life. And essentially, all it is, um, its, it's code name is Sputnik. And essentially, um, it's only a proof of concept that they have right now. It's not fully fleshed out. But essentially, if I'm understanding it correctly, is um, it looks like they want to develop probably an app, an app of sorts that is uh, connected to a blockchain. And what's cool about it is that it's going to host and track um, all of your IOUs. Okay, so if you've ever worked in an office before, the method of IOU is either an Excel file if you're hardcore like I am, or in a sticky note. At best, most people just try to remember all the money that people owe them. Well, what if I told you everyone just could have this little app and essentially you both agree that you owe someone money, right? Um, and uh, it's on the blockchain, right? It is, uh, you can look back in a month, in three months, in a year and say, hey, look, you uh, actually agreed to this proof right here that you click the button and I click the button and then they're like oh I really do owe you that so I think it's great especially if you're on a fantasy football league and no one ever pays you um, or worse you actually win and no one pays you for winning that happens to me all the time it drives me crazy and then the next season people are like oh I paid you and it's like actually you did not pay me because I track everything in an Excel file so pay please anyhow um, this will prevent all that. It'll put it in a blockchain. So it's almost like an, a uh, blockchain for you, a blockchain for me, an individualized uh, ledger um, specifically for our own personal little lives. So I think that's really fascinating, and uh, I'm actually really excited about that. So, um, and that's it. 
that's it for this first episode. I'm going to come back with a second episode. I'm trying to keep these a little bit shorter tonight and break them up for you. I've had some people say sometimes they get long and things like that. And um, But tonight I actually do have the time to try to break it up for you. Uh, I'm going to go catch the rest of this uh, NBA Finals. And um, I don't know who I'm rooting for, but I hope your team is winning. And uh, I'll be back soon. So um, as always, I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you, and I'll see you real soon.